What is going on YouTube? Welcome back here to another video. It is an early Saturday morning. We finally got some free time to work on my truck again. Uh, you can see the big change here. We have a lift finally in this bay. Uh, that happened probably about a month ago now and it has been one of the nicest things we've experienced in a long time. It's just nice to not have to crawl under vehicles anymore. You can just lift them up. It lifts plenty high for even me to clear my head under there. I'm like 6'2", six, 6'3". Six, so it's it's just, it's amazing. It's been a great feature. So um, I already kind of started ripping into this thing a little bit. I got the coolant drained out of it. I had to let it cool off and whatnot. Um, so we'll get into what we are doing today. I got everything out on the table. So, I mean, you should have a pretty good idea what's going on. But uh, let's see what we got here. Okay, so this box is from PPE. And you can see we got some orange going on, of course, you know. Uh, I threw some of the parts from the other stuff in here as well. HSP. So, number one being probably the most important reason we are even doing all this is these right here from Mishimoto. These are their low temp thermostats. So I'm doing these because I'm hoping that will help with the fact of this truck building a bunch of pressure in a coolant system every once in a while, especially when you're running it hard. We did the head gasket tests. We did all that. Everything's good. So uh, I'm hoping these will help. And then I figured while we were at it, I wanted to do this hose kit from PPE, silicone hose kit. Just a super nice setup. Um, I really like it because of this billet piece here. And you'll see when we get the old hoses out, all this stuff that you see is, norm is metal on these would be plastic on the hoses, uh, on the OEM hoses, I should say. Um, so they're known to crack and whatnot. And then this is also another thing I'm pretty excited about, especially after what I just experienced. If you've ever drained the coolant on one of these trucks, it's absolutely horrible. There's nothing good about it. I don't know what GM was thinking of not putting a drain plug or something in the radiator. So basically you have to pull a hose off. Uh, you make a mess nine times out of ten because you can't catch it all because it just goes everywhere. It, it's, it's a horrible scenario. So. We got this here from XDP. So basically we'll cut the bottom hose, which right, it, the bottom hose is right there where that clamp is. So when we get the new hose in, we will cut it in half right there and slip this in. And then it has two T-bolt clamps and a valve somewhere. I don't know where I put it. Yeah, right here. So it has a nice little ball valve. So whenever you're ready to drain the coolant, you just open the valve and you're good to go. So definitely very excited for that. And uh, you know, I was a little nervous about doing the orange hoses because I don't want it to be like overpowering. But really the only thing that you're going to see from the top will be these little hoses down on the side here under the intake. Um, the rest of it's going to be underneath, so I think just from, un you know, if you're ever underneath the truck, it'll go along with the stuff that's underneath. But you won't, none of it will be here. And we're going to get into this right now, because this is all going to change. So, from that side of things, let me get this out of the way. Get this box. Over here. Let's open this up. So this is HSP's billet thermostat um, kit or whatever you want to call it. It's basically a coolant pipe relocation thing. I don't know what the what their term is for it. But of course we got it powder coated in our orange, looking good. Um, so basically, there's the thermostat housing itself this here here's the cap so basically what's gonna happen is instead of this hose going like this through in between the Y bridge 
takes up a ton of space. It's kind of just in the way. So what we're gonna end up doing is this oil fill tube will change and get it will shrink down a little bit, be a little bit shorter. And then this is gonna go down in there like this. So that pipe will come straight forward, right, um, right above the AC compressor and right into the rad. So it's gonna be a massive clearing of space in the engine bay. I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, I've been waiting on this stuff for a while, so I'm excited to get into it, but that's enough rambling. <clears throat> let's, uh, let's get ripped into this thing. Um, I think the only thing I'm gonna do is just take the intake out just so I can get to this stuff a little easier and then uh, we'll put it up on the rack and pull the hoses from the underneath. All right, so we finally got everything laid out on the table here, get a good look at everything. So one thing I've been doing with these hoses, uh, PP has a little sheet here that they sent in the box. So you can see they say all the clamps on these kits are loose and to add a small amount of like a silicone brake lubricant, which is uh, like this stuff here. It's kind of just like a like a grease grease type of thing. It's not really grease though, but um, you get the point. So basically what I've been doing is just loosening up these, sliding them out of the way, putting just a little bit on, snugging them back up for now until we go to put these in there. I see the point of it. It's just so I think when you tighten these clamps down, it doesn't end up pinching or cutting the hose, which is actually probably a pretty good practice, especially you can see here on the inside how these clamps work. So I, I get the point of it, just kind of a pain in the butt, but probably worth it. Um, we got it up on the rack here just a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna try and get this bottom hose unhooked from the water pump right there. And I'm sure a bunch more coolant's gonna come out, probably go all over the place. So I'll make sure to get that on video. I'm sure it'll be a great time. Well, yep, Typ typical uh, Duramax coolant drain. Um, you get about 2% uh, of it in the frickin' bucket and the rest of it goes on the floor, so gotta love that. But anyways, it's drained. Probably $30 in frickin' pig mats, that's nice. But uh, anyway, well we're gonna work on getting these hoses out and start fitting up these new ones. Okay guys, so you can see we got uh, all the hoses out. Um, I just got done cleaning up all the freaking mess and everything. So I'll go over here and show you guys the old stuff that came out and kind of the whole point of even like if you were ever to do hoses. I mean, this isn't like a, this was kind of just something I wanted to do just for more looks, but the actual benefit of those hoses, like I was saying is you can see this piece here with the clip and the O-rings plastic this elbow's plastic, this elbow's plastic. So what can happen sometimes is over time when these get old, they can crack and then everything, all, you know, all your coolant leaks out and whatever. Whereas on the PPE ones, like I showed you guys, everything's metal, so, which is nice. And they're uh, obviously orange. So what I'm gonna work on now is getting this thermostat housing out and that pipe there and then uh, and obviously the fill tube too and then we're gonna get the new stuff in and then we'll start putting the hoses in. So we have everything removed now, um, oil fill tube, thermostat housing, uh, actually I still have to get this little tube off, piece of hose, and then uh, we're going to basically now start reinstalling everything, I want to check a couple things, but uh, I'll try and be as detailed as I can in the install process for anyone that you know ever has to do thermostats or um, even this kit in general. It's not that bad though, so we'll get to it here. 
Got the full crew in here today practicing some welding. And so now we got the hose, this hose off the back of the turbo there, done. I had to take this boot off, slide that pipe out of the way to get the clamp way back in there. And then, um, so I'm gonna leave this just out of the way until we get the uh, thermostat housing in. And then you can see, on, let me get a better view here. So with these thermostats and the Duramaxes, it's important that this back one with the two bleed holes in it goes in the back with the bleed holes facing in the back. And the other one just goes up here, obviously. So we got those in, our surfaces are cleaned, ready to go. We're gonna put the uh, thermostat housing in and the oil fill tube, and we'll start buttoning this all up up here. See we got the billet thermostat, the first part of the housing down in there, and then you can see how these hex screws are sunk in there, and then this is like a two-piece design, so we'll put the cap on and then uh, start doing the pipe. And then you can see our hose that was originally a real short piece is now comes, it's hard to see, but goes into the back there. All right. So you can see we got that all buttoned up. I mean, just look how much space that does open up like there. It's It definitely looks a lot different. I'm still kind of like adjusting to how much different it looks. But uh, overall, I like it. I think it'll look good once everything's buttoned back up. But got the fill tube in, thermostat housing's all done. Um, I messed with the fitment on the pipe and the boots for a while. I actually cut this boot a couple different times because they had the one end like really long so it was like coming like way up here and I didn't really like that so I trimmed it a couple times and was really messing with fitment and whatnot but overall extremely happy with how it looks. So now I think we're going to raise this thing up and um, start messing with these uh, hoses from underneath and uh, we'll see how that goes here. Well, a long time later, we have the hoses in. Um, they are mostly done. And then you can see I got my drain put in here. So basically all you do for this is I got the hoses in. I just snipped it right there, put that in. You get two T-bolt clamps. And now anytime I got to drain the coolant on this thing, it's with the opening of a valve and a bucket and I catch it all and it doesn't go everywhere and I don't waste God only knows how much in pig mats. Um, but I kind of got all my clamps oriented the way I wanted them, hoses oriented the way I wanted them. Uh, I'll set it down and show you a view from the top. But uh, just a lot of, you know, physically doing it's not hard, but getting everything lined up the way you want it. Uh, the whole siliconing the clamps. I understand the point of it and I, I mean I still did it but man it, it kind of makes things really hard because you know then you're getting it all over everything and yeah it was kind of a pain in the butt but there's a side shot uh, I got one clamp to tighten up on the coolant tank but yeah overall it looks pretty good I mean I think it kind of looks cool when you look at the truck like this here definitely so I'm happy with it we're gonna get it down and button everything up. Okay, so now we are actually completely finished up. Got the intake back in. Everything is done. Get the look from the side. And like, I, I like how, you know, none of the hoses you can really see, cause I already got a lot of orange going on, so I didn't want like silicone up here. But it's cool how you can, you can obviously see it all from underneath, and I think it goes pretty well, so. I'm very happy with the HSP pipe and thermostat kit. I think it looks really good. It just opens up so much space um, in here. And it kind of looks weird. I'm trying to get used to it, but you know, cause all you see is wires now, but 
just when it comes to getting this stuff there's a lot of stuff going on right here and that pipe's always in the way and even for draining coolant purposes if you ever have to take that out coolant always gets down in the valley it gets all over everything so this will be a much mess free setup and I'm very happy with how it turned out and like I said I love I love seeing that hose from underneath like that I'm really pumped about that drain I'm actually really excited the next time I have to drain coolant which probably sounds a little weird but you know after seeing how it went this time yeah with that being said guys I'm probably gonna wrap it up here I'm not gonna sit here and film myself filling it with coolant and running it and all that nonsense so uh, I really appreciate you guys tuning in I hope this video was helpful I know I kind of got just you know going there and just finished a bunch of stuff I always tend to do that but this was a pretty you know simple just time-consuming install it's nothing really hard so uh, hopefully maybe gives you guys some ideas and overall I like the products I use so very happy with it but again thanks guys I'll catch you on the next one